it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Hello everyone, I am Will. I am a member of the Egan family that you usually see least. Uh, because we're very fortunate that I am usually working and Devin gets to do the also very difficult job of being a stay-at-home mom and a homeschool teacher and a million other things that she does in the day. Uh, but last night while we were going to bed, Parker asked me if I could film a video about what a day uh, at work is like for me. Uh, so I told him I would, and then he had the idea of filming it so that it could be put on our YouTube channel. Uh, so obviously that's up to Devin in the end, but I figured I'd try to do it anyway for him. If nothing else, then I can give the video to him. He'll have a nice little present. Um, the video quality is obviously going to be a lot worse than you used to. Devin's a lot better at this. And the audio quality is not going to be as great. I'm currently talking into a Bluetooth headset. And my engine in my truck is very loud. And I'm currently driving on a major six-lane highway. Uh, I am hands-free. I took a cell phone vent clip and attached it to the steering wheel, uh, so nothing to worry about there. Um, it is currently 7 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. I don't usually work on Mondays. I'm usually fortunate enough, fortunate enough with this job to have a three-day weekend, but because Thanksgiving is coming up soon, we had to change our schedules around. Uh, I am currently heading north to a uh, little town Nowhere called Bolton Landing. For anyone familiar with Lake George or New York at all, uh, it's 20 minutes north of Lake George. And I start my day in the capital of New York, Albany. Uh, so it's like an hour and a half drive. I've already been at work for an hour. I'm not even close. Uh, but yeah, you'll see what a day for me is like. While I'm off doing what I do, while Devin's doing what she does. And if not, this is just for Parker. Well, I love you very much, buddy, and I hope you enjoy it. So if this does end up on YouTube, um, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, I have been at this job for about nine months now. Um, it's a good job. I was working at, I don't feel bad saying it because I'm not there anymore. I was uh, working at Dollar General as a store manager for about two years. Um, I, between Christmas and my birthday, which is in February of the last year that I was there, so the end of 2020 to the beginning of this year, I had one day off. I was regularly working um, from the time that I had to get there, which was 6 o'clock in the morning, until closing at 9 o'clock at night, seven days a week. Uh, there were some days that I thankfully only got to work half days, but still, driving a half an hour to work, to work four hours to drive home. Not fun. Um, the one good thing that Dollar General ever did, honestly, uh, was they offered uh, not just maternity leave, they offer maternity leave for new moms, but they offer uh, parental leave for any parent. Uh, I got two weeks off. Uh, I got two weeks off for Emery uh, when she was born when I started, uh, but then I got two weeks off for Eloise at the beginning of this year. That's actually why I finally got to have days off. It wasn't because it was my birthday or because people decided to start working. It was because I had already requested two weeks off for when Eloise was born. And during those two weeks, I spent 
any time that we weren't at the hospital or when Eloise was asleep or Devin had her that I was free to look for jobs and I found the job I'm currently at. Uh, it's like a whole different world. It's four days a week. Uh, it's Tuesday through Friday every week. Um, of course, it's different this week because we're planning for the holiday, so I'm working on a Monday, like I said. Um, but it's a very physically demanding job. I'm tired, beat up, sweating every day. But, I mean, it's like a whole different culture. It's everybody is genuinely nice here it's not that fake nice that i've had at other jobs that i've worked everybody wants to help everybody everybody gets along like i said everybody it's it's like a almost like a second family here so i i, I lets me see my family three days a week consecutively there's no like guesswork or anything it's just it's a nice change of pace it's really great it's helped me it's helped our family. Uh, it's fantastic. But what I do now is just dropping off like rags and chemicals and uh, clean mats to a bunch of different kinds of companies. Like um, I do restaurants, libraries, uh, breweries, uh, schools, banks, a bunch of different places, a bit of everything. But it's, I'm very thankful for this job. Um, for what it's done for me and for my family. And I've only been here for nine months and I, I'm, you know, hope I hope to be here for a long time. Um, it's a lot of driving, uh, but podcasts help me get through it. Um, but I am almost to my next stop, so. Sorry, somebody just almost crashed off screen. I was just, I'm parked right now and this car just pulled out in front of another car. You don't never know what you're gonna see, apparently. Uh, this uh, just truck decided it was their turn to go, and it was not. So, that's the fun kind of day I'm having, I guess. So, this is what I work out of every day. It's what the back of my truck looks like. Bunch of towels, bunch of mats, some chemicals. And uh, like I said, that's basically my whole job. You know, I go around and I go to, like I said, restaurants. I go to libraries, uh, breweries, banks, um, schools, a bunch of different places. Uh, and I pick up the dirty towels, the dirty mats, put down clean ones, give them clean towels. It's not the most glamorous job in the world, but it is... A good job and it you know pays our bills so i'm not going to complain about it too much um this is actually very light uh it's monday but i'm working as though it were tuesday these are my stops for tuesdays my first day of the week tomorrow which will be tuesday but is normally wednesday for me this you can't walk there's no floor it's just packed with towels and ooh, motion sensor light it's packed from floor to ceiling with towels and aprons and chemicals and all those mats uh but i am finally at my first stop i'm gonna get this knocked out and then do one more stop all the way up here up north and then head 45 minutes south through the rest of my day i only come up here for two stops <laughs> so it's um i listen to podcasts a lot to help get through my day now i am at a school that i have to sit outside of because they're in the middle of a lockdown they have bomb sniffing dogs inside uh and the nice maintenance man who was blocking the entrance told me to park in the grass and don't move until it's time to, until they're given the all clear and the okay. So I can't go in, but I'm also apparently now not allowed to leave. So, good times. 
so we're held outside the school for about 20 minutes and uh, it's me and like eight other cars and two school buses for about 20 minutes and then finally get to go inside I get into the main office and they go oh yeah no there's no real uh, bomb threat they're just uh, training the dogs they're training the bomb sniffing dogs uh, and we volunteered our facility so got held up for that uh, and now I'm gonna go to my next stop which is a military base that does nuclear testing so again a fun day going to record the military base but then I had a moment of clarity and thought that's probably illegal uh, so I didn't do that but <laughs> um, it's a weird place that I didn't even know existed until I started working here uh, when I first got told that it was going to be one of my stops I was basically told uh, you can't miss it have you ever seen the Epcot Dome it looks like that, but with doom, and uh, it's not. That's not a bad description of it. Um, again, I thought about recording it real quick, but then I thought probably shouldn't do that, so I didn't. Um, but I did all that. Now I have to fill this thing up with gas, which is a whole process. Also, uh, so I'm going to do that now. all my worries I prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on Kids have uh, an, a kid's version of an Amazon Echo and it has Alexa on it and they are able to call me on my phone 
um, and they do it every day while I'm at work and it's the cutest thing. They're always so happy and I'm always so happy to talk to them. I love it when they do it. It's just the cutest thing. Apparently they're having cream cheese. And I know Devin was in the background and I know she said she was putting cream cheese on something. But all I heard was Amory going, Daddy, we're having cream cheese. Daddy, we're having cream cheese. Daddy, we're having, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Daddy, we're having cream cheese. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. And I felt bad because I was blocking the road for this guy. And he was looking at me and I was trying to get them to hang up, but she was being too cute and too funny. I couldn't hang up. So I felt bad, but it was hysterical and I loved it. So this is kind of what the back, the way back of my truck looks like at the end of the day. Um, all the dirty rags, towels, mops, aprons, mats. Um, this is, Tuesday is typically my lightest day of the week, so there's not a lot back here. Whereas tomorrow, which is usually my Wednesday, but tomorrow will be Tuesday, it's stacked all the way to the top. You, just, you can't fit anything else back here by the time I'm done with my day. But, yeah, so all the dirty stuff way in the back. So that's basically my day. Um, I'm done for the day. I'm now in my own car. Uh, gonna head home. Um, it's not a bad job. It's physical. It's I mean, dirty sometimes, but it's a good job. It pays well. It lets me see my family more than I have. Since Parker was born, I was constantly working two jobs or working a job that I just worked every day or all the time. Um, you know, the whole four days on, three days off thing has been amazing. Of course, like I said, I'm filming this the one week that I'm working five days. Um, but then I get five days off for, uh, the weekend of Thanksgiving. So they even it out, they make it work. This is a, it's a good place. Um, if this ends up on YouTube, like I said, well then this is, uh, this has been my day and me. I hope you enjoyed it and if this just ends up being for Parker and my family well then I want you guys to know that I love you very much you're the reason that I do everything that I do and I wouldn't change any of it I love you guys very much one last thing um, I don't know if this is gonna go on YouTube or not I've said that like four times now um, whether it does or not uh, there's something that I saw once that I wanted to try, and it was hysterical. It was from a comedian. And uh, regardless, we have an Alexa, so it'll at least work in our house. And I'll think it's hysterical, so I want to try this. Let me know if it works. Alexa, maximum volume. Alexa, play Who Let the Dogs Out. Now, even if you don't have an Alexa, Again, we do in our house. And I learned from other YouTube videos that Devin has posted that if she says Alexa in the video, it'll go off. So assuming that they're listening to this in the living room, that just happened. So, <laughs> so there's that. that. That was fantastic for me, at least. I'm sure at least Parker and maybe Emery thought it was hysterical. Eloise might not have and Devin either thought it was hysterical or is currently plotting my murder. We'll find out.